உலக நாயகன் தயாரிப்பில் சியான் விக்ரம் நடிக்கும் கடாரம் கொண்டான் ஜூலை பத்தொன்பது முதல் இந்திரா ப்ராஜெக்ட் உங்கள் கனவு எங்கள் லட்சியம் Honourable Speaker, sir, we are all well aware of child abuses. Sabha Patel pe Uttar Prasut hai. Manne Sadashe, ek baar phir vayasta samad le. Us mein koji baad nahi nahi sir. Jab Manne Sadashyon ka, jab mein question number po karo, to aap sabhi Manne Sadashe pehle question number bole. Phir Manne Mantri ji Sabha Patel pa rakhenge, phir aap prashne puchhe. व्यवस्था सदन की इस तरीके मान्य सदस्य दोबारा से ऑनरेबल स्पीकर सर क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री एट फाइव आई गॉट डिटेल बैठ जाए प्लीज बैठ मान्य मंत्री जी कल पे सर दी आंसर प्रपोज इन द टेबल ऑफ द हाउस मान्य सदस्य अब पूछे मान्य बहुत गंभीर और बहुत पकड़ वाले सदस्य मान्य सदस्य I got the details from the Ministry of Child and Women Development regarding Juvenile Justice Act Care and Protection to the Children 2015. According to the reply of our ministry, I came to know that there are 10 states and union territories, including Tamil Nadu and Puducherry. have framed and notified their own rules under JJ Act. And five, only five states and union territories have adopted central government rules and notified. But there are eight states and union territories have drafted rules under JJ Act but yet to be notified. And 13 states and union territories are in the process of framing rules under JJ Act. Really, I am shocking to know that about 21 states and union territories yet to notify the rules. It is really injustice to the children. The union government enacted the Juvenile Justice Act 2015 to provide justice to the children who have who are affected by the various kinds of abuses and crimes. Honorable Minister's reply clearly shows 21 states out of 36 and UTS are yet to comply with the direction of the Act. They were failed to implement the Act. This is great injustice to the children. I request the Honourable Minister to fix a time frame to the states which are yet to notify the rules. Recently, the Supreme Court took Suomoto action regarding registering a case on increasing number of child abuses, particularly sexual abuses cases in our country. In the past six months, there were 24,212 FIRs registered across the country in, on ingredients of child sexu sexual abuse. So, I raise the question to our Honourable Minister, what action taken by the Union Government against the states and Union territories yet to be notified the rules still? tell the Honourable Member through you that till such time a state notifies its own rule, the central rules and act applies. Hence, there will not be any child in want of justice in the absence of a state notifying its own rules. Insofar as the Honourable Member's observation regarding the Honourable Supreme Court of India, I believe that he is quoting from media reports which might not be substantiated. I have read the ruling of the Honourable Supreme Court which seeks to get data with regards to pendency across all districts in the country. Hence, for us to presume that this is a number of pendency in terms of FIRs registered or investigation at the state of uh, police or for that matter pendency uh, in terms of 
legally pending cases in court would be a presumption which is best not done. Uh, I will only say this, sir, that uh, insofar as the states which I get to notify their rules, since the Central Act applies, I will take the concern of the Honourable Member and the advisement. We are actively pursuing with states who have not notified their rules to do so, but be assured that the uh, Central Act applies till such time that the state doesn't notify its own rules. Don't give one rupee more. 